Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for, well, right around Christmas, but you know the timing is fluid, right? Not every reading is for you, so not every reading is for you. Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays to those of you that celebrate. What do we have for a message today? The moon. The moon, the moon. All is not as it seems. There are some hidden forces here. Something is not as it seems. You know, when you get the moon card, you need to beware because there's, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. There is. The moon is a card of fear. It's fear of the unknown. Not everything is, is as it seems, okay? You need to proceed with caution. The moon is ruled by the shadow. The shadow is a liar. Knight of Pentacles. The Empress. Six of Cups. Oh, we got two. The King of Swords reversed and the Six of Wands. So, this is planning something. Somebody's planning something. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is planning on doing something. They're hiding it right now. It's below the surface. They're making plans. Or they've been making plans. May have something to do with a woman. Okay, may have something to do with a woman that is very beautiful, fertile, lovely. This is a lovely. This is this is the pick of a litter. Pick of the litter. This is somebody that is abundant, wealthy, um, caring. Now the Empress delivers. Okay, she delivers. She she delivers on everything. She loves with all of her heart. So there is, there is, there is, this is about love and abundance, okay? Somebody is planning something. They are hiding it. They're hiding their plans. Obviously, there's going to be a surprise. <laughs> there is. You know, and the Empress gives birth when it's time, okay? Well, you never know when it's going to happen. Get ready for a surprise, okay? The surprise is coming. A surprise is coming. May have something to do with the past, okay? With that Six of Cups. It could also, does and the moon. Okay, the moon and the six of cups both represent the past. Something going on outside. Anyhow, um, so yeah, there's something to do with the past here. Um, beware. <laughs> beware. I have to say beware because of that moon card. And you know, the six of cups can be memories. It doesn't, you know, it can be. Uh, memories of the past. This could be a reawakening uh, memories of love, okay, with the Six of Cups. King of Swords reversed uh, is somebody that is maybe following their heart, okay? This person has been cold, they've been uncaring, they've been withdrawn, they, they weren't thinking clearly, maybe they were confused with that moon card. They weren't logical, but now there could be somebody that is taking charge with the Six of Wands right next to it. This is somebody that is ready to fight. Okay, this person has fought some sort of battle and they're ready to be recognized. Or maybe they're all done fighting. Maybe this person is already, they're done fighting. Yeah, the Six of Wands is usually victory after sorrow. There's been some sort of fight. There's been some sort of battle, but now it's over. This is somebody taking her heroic action, you know. Um, who or who has or is about to. This is being recognized, being urged. Um, this is somebody that is ready to make progress, ready for, uh, ready to end the battle because it's ending a battle. So we have somebody here that is ready for peace and harmony in their life. The sixes are the journey, taking a journey. Somebody may be taking a journey, their heart is talking to them. I believe their heart is talking to them. They've been cold and withdrawn. But I feel like now they're wanting to do the noble thing. You know, they don't want to fight anymore. Somebody doesn't want to fight. 
Um, there's definitely memories of love here. There's there's feelings of love. The moon is a very feeling energy. Somebody could be expressing their love, and I'm saying and expressing their love in a very big way. They've been hiding something. This is there's been some sort of secret. So they may be you know opening up. Somebody may be opening their heart up to somebody that they love. You know, with the Empress upright, this is this is love. Okay, it is love, abundance growth, fertility, birth of a new life, okay? Somebody probably has a gift. I mean, obviously, it's Christmas. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles can be a gift. It's a solid offer, making a solid offer, something very uh, genuine, very real. Somebody is definitely going to be... Uh, and this person hasn't communicated yet or it's because the sword is down in this Knight of Pentacles card. The sword is down, so they've been planning it. Somebody's been planning something. Um, they're taking, they're going, they're taking a very slow, methodical approach. This is a very, this is a planner. We have somebody here that is planning, um, a surprise by the looks of things. Okay. This is planning and this is a surprise. It is. Let's see if I can... All right, so planning a surprise for this beautiful individual because of this empress, she is um, very valuable. She, she's very valuable. She knows her value. She has a lot of life experience. She's experienced pain. Um, she delivers on, on her... promises. Um, Six of Wands. This is victory. Headed towards victory. Yes. Yes. So there is going, yes, this is what I want. So somebody has been unable to communicate for some reason because the King of Swords can't really communicate or has been harsh. <laughs> Somebody may have been very harsh, but they're really memor. This is a lot of memories, thinking. Um, there's a lot of nostalgia here. Hanged man, thinking, 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 thinking. Somebody is really thinking. They are thinking about the past. Past, past. Somebody is really, really thinking about the past, and they're struggling. They're struggling. They're struggling with the memories. They're struggling with their feelings. There's, they're, they've been wasting time. They've been sacrificing themselves. They're, but they're, I feel like they've been in a place of uh, solitude, you know. They may have been angry or upset. Trying to prove a point with this hangman. The hangman is somebody that is, is really struggling to let go of a perspective, you know. Definitely. Somebody's been struggling to let go of... Uh, their perspective, trying to prove a point. But now they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to fight. They're looking for victory. They're looking for success. They're being urged, okay? There's a lot of support here. It's almost like people are telling them to, you know, just, just, just do it. Whatever it is, just do it. There's some deep, deep, deep feelings here with the moon card and the six of cups. Okay, there's deep feelings here. Somebody's hiding something. Eight of cups. Maybe wanting to come back. I mean, I hate to say that for some of you that really don't want to hear it, but the eight of cups could be a, a breakup. You know, somebody broke up. It's in reverse. They broke up. They want to come back. They, you know, they want, a, they may be apologizing. Somebody is also hanging on to something that is superficial. You know, they're, they're staying put in an emotionally disappointing situation and they're having a hard time leaving. They may be planning to leave. They're starting to come up with a, another perspective. Maybe they're just hiding it right now. They may be planning to leave. Okay, because it says planning to leave. Maybe they have another opportunity for love with somebody that, you know, is very beautiful, abundant. Uh, you know, the Empress is very abundant. Okay, she, she's not wanting for anything. Um, but somebody needs to to literally stop hanging on to something that is emotionally unfulfilling. 
and they're really, really thinking and planning. So somebody is really thinking, and they may be thinking about planning and leaving something. Leaving, maybe they're thinking about leaving, um, maybe it's an abusive situation, somebody they've been fighting with. And the King of Swords in reverse is, is, there could be abuse here. There could be mental abuse, verbal abuse, whatever, any kind of abuse. This could be somebody that is very abusive. Um, and there's memories of love here. There's somebody's really thinking about what love is. They're thinking about, you know, probably somebody in their past that was that was really love, and that's what's making this uh, all these thoughts come into play. You know, somebody's definitely thinking about either. They're probably thinking about both. They're probably thinking about leaving somebody that they are hanging on to and going back to somebody that they loved or that loved them. I mean, I'm, I, that's what I see. Anyhow, or they're thinking about what love is because the Six of Cups is memories of love. Okay, it is memories of love. The Empress gives birth to a new life. She she love, does everything with love. The true Empress does everything with love. Somebody's hiding their feelings, though. Seven of Cups. There's options here. There's many options. Somebody is, is really considering their options right now. And I feel like they've been in a state of confusion. They've been having a, they've been really struggling, really struggling to choose, pretending to be happy where they're at, staying put, refusing to move on, taking a very practical, slow approach because they're fearful, fearful of the unknown. That's the moon card. Somebody's very fearful. They're fearful of, you know, what if I do let go? Right now it's safe, right? It's safe to hang on to this. But that's not logical. It's not logical. You need to face your fears. Face your fears. You will be victorious. This is a card of victory and success and balance and harmony. It's where you find that strength to stop fighting yourself. And go after what you want. Stop playing games. Stop putting yourself in the battle. Step out of the battle. Step out of the fight. Be logical. So anyway, the hangman is really struggling. Somebody is really, 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 really struggling to uh, be logical here. You're right? Or they're being overly logical, too logical. Could be over, follow their heart. This could be too logical, you know. Follow your heart. This is logic or lack thereof. And this is heart. So, and, and this is struggling. So somebody really needs to struggle. They need to face their fears. It's better to be alone. Okay. It's, even if you, what's the worst that could happen? Anyhow, Seven of Cups is needing to make a choice and struggling to make a choice because of fear. Somebody's struggling. Six of Pentacles reversed. So the Six of Pentacles reversed is strong control. There's an injustice here. Somebody has... Uh, there's fear of rejection. Fear of rejection. Somebody is so fearful of rejection. They are. And right now they're in a one-sided situation that is emotionally disappointing that they are hanging on to. Take the lead. This is a card of leadership. Around the corner, we have somebody here that is going to decide to stop fighting. This is the overall in outcome. Somebody is going to make the decision to get on their horse <laughs> or vehicle or whatever the hell it is. 
and walk away. It's like, I'm done. The six of wands, it is. It's like, I'm not going to, this is victory after sorrow. It's like, I'm, I'm done. Going after success. And because this person decides to stop fighting, they head right towards success. This is somebody who does take action and decides to leave the battle behind, decides to leave the competition behind. You guys fight. You do it. I'm done. I want victory. I want peace and I want harmony. This is somebody who has decided to take the journey. Okay? I'm taking the journey to victory. I'm taking the journey to harmony and balance in my life. So somebody is definitely going to be ending a battle. Judgment reversed. So a secret is about to be revealed. Some sort of truth is, been, is about to be revealed. It's been hidden. Somebody's been... been in denial, perhaps. They've been unable to accept the truth. There's been a lack of awareness. There's, there's, uh, somebody was fear of judgment, you know, not wanting to be judged, fear of rejection. There's a lot of self-doubt here. There is. Somebody is deciding, though, to move on from a bad choice. We talked about this, I don't know, a week ago. They are. This is a decision maker right here. This is a noble individual who decides to do the right thing. After they've been probably... not following their heart. They made a poor judgment call. Somebody made a poor judgment call. And it's because of their lack of awareness. Now this is a lack of awakening, but this is an awakening. So somebody is going through an awakening But there's definitely fear of being accepted. There is, because this is fear of being accepted, fear of rejection. And this is the past as well. Somebody is really reminiscing about their past decisions and I feel like they have doubts of being accepted and that's why they're staying put in this in equal situation where there's a lack of reciprocation, there's a lack of equality, there's a lack of it's one sided, you know, they're not giving what they they're not getting what they deserve, right? It's it's just not balanced. Okay. But and there's been some sort of injustice here with the six of pentacles reversed. There's been some sort of unfair treatment. I think we have an individual that probably treated somebody unfairly and that's why they feel so bad about being accepted, you know? But there is another option. So we definitely have a have somebody here that has options. Probably several options. And that could be the fear as well. Now, am I am I good enough? Will I be accepted? I feel like there is an opportunity for a reunion here for some of you. Or this could be a past life soulmate reunion. Okay, because this is past life, this is past life, this is past life. So we may have a past life reunion here. This may be somebody you haven't even met in this lifetime. For those of you that are squawking because I said that. Think outside the box. All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here. That are going to be reawakening somebody's feelings of love. Merry Christmas. 
I've gotten a lot of requests for donations. Where can I send you a gift? Now, I don't advertise for donations. I don't even have a link down there anywhere that says donate here. I just don't. But in the light of Christmas, and due to the request that I have gotten, if you would like to send me a gift, you can send it to my PayPal, which is soulsourcetarot at gmail.com. You just go to PayPal, type that in, send money, whatever. Soul source tarot one word at gmail.com. Not asking you to, you certainly don't have to, but for those of you that have sent me emails asking, there it is. Good luck.